Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Alonso, and in this video you will going to learn how to run a Discord bot in a Minecraft server. Uh, I've seen many people asking how to do this in our Discord, and so well, so I decided to make a video about it so I can help you with it. And the first thing I need to learn, I need to say sorry, is that you need uh, the dependency, the JDI dependency. If you don't know what is what it is, please go check uh, JDI series we have the channel from DDoS. Uh, also, uh, to make this possible, I mean to run a bot inside a plugin, you need you have two options. The first one is to use uh, JDI dependency, I mean to import the JDA dependency inside your plugin or uh, use an external jar. For example, in my case, I'm going to be using Alonso JDA, that jar, which is just a simple plugin uh, with all information from JDA dependency inside, okay? It's really simple to do that, so you can create your own. I already added uh, as a depend here, Alonso JDA, and as I said, it's the dependency, uh, the dependency JDA, uh, just inside a plugin, an empty plugin. Okay, so let's start. The first things we need to make is to run the bot itself. So let's use public JDA. Let's import JDA because we already have the dependency imported, and let's call it JDA. Let's mm, uh, create a method here called start bot, and let's create a method. In this method, we're gonna uh, be running the bot using the token we already have. I have the token in my config YML, uh, which I'm not gonna be uh, showing. Okay, so uh, let's use new JDA builder. Let's say uh, account type is bot. Let's say set token. I'm gonna get the token as I said from the config of my plugin and string bot token and uh, let's use build block. Okay, you can use uh, building only, but um, I'm gonna be using this. I know it's duplicated, but it's, it still works. I'm gonna collapse this one here, and we already have the bot uh, running. If we, for example, use this plugin right now in the, in the server the bot should be online but in this case uh, I'm gonna be showing you this is online and this is working I uh, using I mean connecting the two chats I'm gonna connect the Minecraft chat and Discord chat so when I type something in Minecraft it also it is sent also in Discord and if I send something in Discord uh, the message appear only the message uh, is sent also, sorry, in the manga. Okay, so uh, I need to listen first to uh, chat event. So I'm gonna implement here, implement here the listener from Bucket, and I'm gonna register the event here. I'm gonna use plugin get server get plugin manager register event and this and plugin. Okay, so the event is now registered from Bookit, of course. Event handler, public void uh, chat event. And I'm gonna use assign player chat event because I wanna listen when a player sent a message. So um, I'm gonna get the message right now. A string message is equal to e that get message. And now I need to choose uh, the channel uh, where this message will be sent. In this case, I'm gonna be using uh, general TS T TSC, which is a channel I have in my Discord server. Whoops, sorry. I have here, for example, I was making some tests before. I'm gonna delete this thing here. And the name is general TSC, okay? So I'm gonna be creating a new text channel and I'm gonna get the uh, the text channel so I mean 
I need the text channel uh, object so I can send a message. So I'm gonna search for the text channel from my JDA. Get text channel by name in, in this case. It's called general TS. See? I'm gonna ignore case true. And I'm gonna get the first one because uh, there is no other channel with that name. So once I have the channel here, I can send the message. Send the message. Um, I'm gonna be using, for example, the following format. I'm gonna be using, in this case, uh, in bold. Mm -hmm. I use this sign to make the text bold. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use the player name get name dot dot and I'm gonna add here the event no I mean the message the players has sent so when I receive a message oh, don't forget to use this one here so when I receive a message from a player in Minecraft I'm gonna I'm gonna get the message well I can use message here I'm gonna get the message I'm gonna search for a text channel called general TSC and I'm gonna send the message to that channel okay so uh, what else we need to listen also to the messages from discord so we need to extend here uh, listener adapter which is uh, similar to listener from bucket but it's from discord okay so we also need to register here that listener so we use JDA at event listener and we use this because this is the uh, this is the class where we extend listener adapter and we are going to use here this method here on guild as you can see here are uh, here you have the the full list of events you can use in using the JDA there is a lot of events when um, a member changed a nickname when a member leaves the server when a member joins the server so uh, there are a lot of events but I'm gonna be using in this case on guild message receive okay this one here so the same way I'm gonna get the message from the discord I'm gonna get the content row which is something like we did here event that get message but it's from discord I'm gonna be using a string message equal this I'm gonna get also the the user user uh, user which is the user that send the message event get author and get uh, no get author I think a second get author yes it's return users and now I can send something like book it book it broadcast the user the name plus the discriminator because I want to show the discriminator get discriminator and the message here okay so I'm gonna be using also a uh, color note so it looks good I forgot to use a plus here Okay, so I'm gonna be, for example, it's going to be in green, in blue, and the message will be in color yellow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, here. So uh, there's something else I usually use here. For example, if the author of the message is a bot, I return because I don't care when a message is sent by a bot also when the message no when the author is fake and also when the message is a webhook message for example when you use when you uh, automatically uh, send a message when someone or some youtuber um, upload a video uh, that's a webhook message so I usually ignore that because I don't care and yeah so let's let's export this i think yeah it's here let's export this don't forget to register the class here or to initialize the class in this case uh yes here 
this because it asks for main and we can build the jar now mm -hmm. okay so now we can copy this thing here let's uh, replace the last one and let's run the server okay so uh, okay so as you can see the bot should be online in a minute mm -mm. now the bot is online because uh, the plugin was initialized correctly and yep so we are going to join now the server mm, nice and if we for example type something here something like for example uh hello everyone as you can see the message was sent in the discord it means that it's working correctly and the same way if we, if we for example uh, type something here hello you're in minecraft the message also should be sent in the server okay so as you can see um, it's working correctly we can chat for example uh, with people on discord hello there uh, how are you and someone in discord replied um, I'm fine what about you So, uh, yep, that's the video for today. You can also use uh, this method here, for example, uh, to send a message or to send or maybe to have a log from people that join the server. In this case, you will not be listening to a sync event. You will be listening to a um, player join event and something like, uh, for example, um, I don't know, maybe Alonso Aliaga has joined the server that will be sent here for example if you listen for a join event okay so yeah that's the video for today i hope you really guys enjoyed the video if you have any question or any suggestion for new videos please let me know in the comment section keep in mind that i'm not going to be using jda for more tutorials because as i said uh we have a series right now uh from ddos that a lot uh a video every week about GDA but if you want uh, maybe new I don't know maybe new you have new ideas about JDA and Bookit that can only be used if you use Bookit also I'm gonna be I'll think about uh, bringing those tutorials here as soon as I can I have already a list for two more tutorials I want to do for the server because I consider them are important one of those is uh, leave this guys which I think you will like it and the other one is I don't remember the name exactly but it's also an happy so I hope you really guys enjoy and if you really enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for new videos and that's it thank you so much for watching the video I hope I see you in the next video bye bye